We definitely come from different places, different backgrounds, different um, basketball programs. And I think, I don't know, we all connected, I don't know, in our own little way. When I say own little way, I mean just joking all the time. During stretches, we're always dancing, laughing, we always joking around, um, we always hanging out all the time. This group of seniors, I have such a great relationship with both of them, um, and I think that we'll have a great relationship. I'm technically a senior in the classroom, and as many people know, I am really, really focused on my academics. Speech pathology in general, like I want to know as much about my career as possible. It's a very vigorous program. I didn't want to be unfair to my teammates or coaches. I just thought that this was the best decision to make. I've decided to continue my education at Marshall University um, in Huntington, West Virginia. Um, super excited about it, I can't wait. And I will no longer be playing basketball. Um, this is it for me. The thing that I'll miss the most about um, Indiana State is getting to play in front of all of our fans. Um, I had never played in front of um, such a huge crowd like that and just the, the vibes and the feeling and the energy that they give off was greatly, greatly appreciated. What am I gonna miss most about uh, playing basketball? Um, definitely number one is my teammates and just being a part of the team, you're always with them and it's like you have 14 other sisters around you and I mean, you get to go so many places as well and experience so many uh, new places. Something I'll um, remember forever, going to Costa Rica the white water rafting and the zip lining and being immersed in a whole other culture. I took a few years of Spanish so I got to practice a little bit. I've definitely appreciated um, the fans and the community, um, you know, with their support. I want the fans to remember that I was a competitor. Well, I know one thing that they're going to remember about me is me always tripping and falling everywhere, but uh, I think I just want them to know that I was a competitor. Um, I came to play, came to win every game, and I think that they really enjoyed what I brought to the court every time I stepped out there. I actually plan on playing at the next level. I got my degree in biology, so I went. I have aspirations to be a doctor. In my immediate future, I plan um, to stay here and obtain my MBA um, in the Scott College of Business. I was able to get some experience with um, working with uh, ESPN3. Um, I really loved it. Um, just the fact that I got to get really good experience um, that I never had and that I never thought I had the opportunity to have it was great and it looks great on a resume. <laughs> Look, going forward and choosing a job that I want to do. There are so many people I'd like to thank. Uh, first and foremost, the most important is Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Uh, without Him, I wouldn't have made it this far. I wouldn't be doing these things. I give all my glory to Him in everything I do because without Him, I would have nothing. I also want to thank uh, my parents. They have given me such unconditional love and support. I don't know what I would do without you guys. My grandparents, they have been along for the ride the whole time. Like I said, they went to Costa Rica with us. My two brothers, Devin and Dylan. Thank my fiance, Bryant, and his family for also their support um, throughout this whole thing. They try to make it to as many games as possible as well. The coaching staff here, Coach Wells, Coach Keister, uh, Coach Riedemann, and Coach Eaton, uh, for allowing me the opportunity to play. Uh, it's been a dream of mine since I was little to play at this level, and to be able to accomplish that dream is amazing. So thank you uh, for allowing me the opportunity to play. Through my AAU coach uh, for just helping me with the recruiting process. I really, really, really want to thank my teammates. I love you ladies, and I'm going to miss you so much. Um, my small town of Robinson, Illinois. And it's just um, so nice to look up in the stands after the games, during the games, and just see familiar faces. So thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank God because, you know, without Him, none of this would be possible. So I definitely um, thank the Most High. Right after that, I'd like to thank my parents, my mom, Juanita Haskins, um, my dad, Kevin Haskins. They've been there with me literally since day one. Also, my brother, Kyle, he's only four years older than me. So coming, up until this point, he has definitely made it possible as far as being my personal chaperone and giving up, you know, pieces of his personal life to help me out um, to get this far. I also like to thank, I guess, all my prior coaches, the coaches, um, Coach Moore and her recruiting staff for giving me the opportunity to play here, Coach Wells and the rest of the coaching staff um, for allowing me to continue my education here. I also like to thank all my teammates for their support. They've definitely been there. First, I want to thank God for all the blessings and opportunities um, for me being able to play college basketball. 
my mom and dad for putting me in all the sports and giving me options. And then my mom and my brothers, Damo, T, and Marquise for always traveling, always being there. They've traveled miles and miles. And um, I just really appreciate them. Coach Green that helped develop me as a freshman. Coach Markham and Coach Morin for bringing me here, um, giving me an opportunity to play at Indiana State. I also want to thank Coach Wells for also giving me the opportunity to play here. Um, he took the position and he also he continued to give me a chance here. Coach E, she's always been close to me. Um, she's so special, like I'm always going to have her in my corner. I'm always going to have her to go to. I also want to thank Coach Keister because me and him really have a close bond. So I would like to thank my mom for all the love and support that she's given me throughout my whole basketball career. Without her, I truly don't know where I would be as far as basketball, as far as every aspect of my life. I would second like to thank my friends and family for always supporting me and coming to my games and cheering me on. My JUCO coach, um, Coach Chad Killinger, for always pushing me. I would like to thank my brother, um, Calvin Newbolt, for um, teaching me the game of basketball and allowing me to share his number with him. I would like to thank and give a huge shout out to both of my um, Denmarkian best friends, um, Mayan Scheich and Freya Christensen. Without you guys being here two years that I was here, I really don't know um, how my years would have played out. Just the rest of my teammates in general for allowing me to <laughs> come to Indiana State and be a part of the program. I had a really, really special relationship with Coach Eden. Um, she was like, a mother away from home. Coach Keister always made me laugh. And I would like to thank Coach Wells for giving me this opportunity to be here. I want to thank Dr. Dan Bradley and his wife, Cherie. Thank you to uh, Mr. Ryan Prettyman and also his wife, Carol, for their continued support as well. I remember them going to, uh, I mean, Mr. Ryan Prettyman going to Costa Rica with us. That was nice seeing them up there. Um, and best of luck, you know, on their um, future endeavors. Thank you to our ISU administration, Angie Lansing, John Sherman, and Joel McMullen. Um, I want to thank Tammy Schaefer and the ISU Spirit Squads. Also, thank you, the ISU Band. Y'all keep it rocking. I want to thank Alex, our trainer. Thank you for keeping me healthy and keeping me on the court and keeping me moving. Sean, Shay, Evan, I know we get on your nerves. I know we do. But thank you for being patient with us. Thank you, Miss Donna, for always being there to support us and just being a smiling face in the hallway as we walk by. We have one of the best uh, booster clubs in the nation. Um, thanks to the Big Blue Booster Club for always being there, supporting us, and traveling all the time and everything.